Hello everybody, welcome back to Tanya's Art. Hello. Today it is a little bit of an experimenting day uh, on this canvas. I have used it before and I put the base coat is uh, the leftovers that I had from my uh, pearl pour. I put a little bit dioxazine purple from Nixvatec in it and um, a little bit of the satin enamel enamels also so my goal is to get cells cells uh, that come through the paint that i will put on it i'm not sure if it's working that's why it is experimenting time and i think i just get started i have a few pearl um uh pearlescent is called from the standard series Amsterdam. I will show you the bottle. Different kind of colors, blue, white, violet, red, green, uh, yellow. Uh, here I have some dark purple with silver in it. And I make this color myself. Um, this is uh, sky blue. No, I, I, that's not the truth. Uh, let me see, it is a combination of uh, a, a few blues I'm not sure this one is the I know that one I know that one that's from golden transparent red iron oxide uh, also left over this is espresso from deco art extreme sheen I have to um, correct myself because I did mention in a few videos back that this brand, Deco Art and Extreme Sheen, uh, has also larger bottles. And that's not true because Deco Art has only metallic um, jars in an 8 ounce um, jar. And this one is 2 ounces. So it is a different, this is the extreme sheen and this is the metallic. So sorry for that. I thought I um, saw it somewhere, but I made a mistake. Um, let's go and layer my cups. And I thought I had two cups, but I don't. Now I like to continue by just pouring the colors in. I cannot place it on the canvas but I will um, show you how I'm going to layer it it is the espresso the rich espresso and on top of that the combination of a few blues because it's leftover I'm not sure what kind of this is the green well green green pearlescent pearlescent from the standard series of Amsterdam this is the purple and now I'm going to do a little bit of the gold. This is a thinner one, maybe I get myself in trouble, but I'm going to try it anyway. This is the, the violet, is that so? Let me see if it's the violet, I don't know. It's thinner, but that's all, uh, uh, that's what my intention because um this is the thicker paint so it has to come through the surface and if i make my top layers too thick then it won't come up to the surface this is the red violet and this is the liquitex turquoise blue Oh, I have to squeeze really hard. I, I have to open the bottle because those bottles are so tight. There we go. And uh, also put a little bit, a bit of silver in it. I will show you. And I'm not sure what this is, but Let's find out. <laughs> the crimson. 
And I like to do a little bit of the espresso too. It is a very nice color. Beautiful shine. That is also left over, over blue. I don't know what, but I think it's already also has silver in it. A little bit of black also left over. Now a lot of pearls. Pearl acrylic paint. I have to keep some for my other cup, so I will. And a little bit blue. I just do something what I think is right. It's no rhyme uh, or reason. I'm just doing it. I will start again with the espresso. I love this color. And I am trying to get a different kind of a layering. I hope I'm you can see what kind of paint I am layering the colors. Na, 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 na. I hope you're doing fine. Uh, I'm living in the Netherlands and it's autumn right now. The weather is very stormy. And um, well, that's autumn. Almost empty. Oh, uh, the blue. And now I can put a little bit of the turquoise. Oh, my other. And silver. Yes, it's thinner, but because these are the bottles of my um, Dutch pour, and I will do a Dutch pour really soon. But I have to make some space because my leftover paint from the previous pours that I did, my uh, cabinet are full with color, so I have to make sure that first my colors are used and I like to use my colors. Now the purple again and a little bit more of the crimson. I'm not sure if the combination of the colors are working out for me and this cup is already a lot fuller than the other one, so I, I will put some other colors um, in this cup too. You can already see the cells in the purple. White, this the white, I saw. All right, well, I think I'm going to make it finished all my colors and if I have left over I can use it for another project um crimson no 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 maybe some blue all right I also put a blue in this one and I'm just going to do well I just I'm going to do an um a kiss pour <clears throat> I thought I'd like to do a ring pour, but no, I like, I'm now changing my mind <laughs> and doing a kiss pour. Uh, oh, I have to put my cups aside so I don't knock them over. A little bit of cleanup. Um, you see the little bit of darker purple coming through, but that's because I did some darker purple in the paint of the base base paint all right um I, ju I just have to go for it i'm not sure if it's going to work what i my goal is that the satin enamel that is in the base paint comes through the paint that i 
like to put on up now. So wish me luck and let's go. Whoa. Again, it's a lot of paint. I can already see this too much paint, but that doesn't matter. Oh, the colors in the cup are beautiful. I hope you can see it. The combination of colors is also beautiful. So don't throw away your leftover paint, please, because you can make something really beautiful. Out of your left over paint. It's a little bit thin, but I think it's going to work out just fine. Usually when the paint is too thin, it's going to get muddy. But I think it's the right consistency. I see a lot of cells coming through. Big cells also, and I love that. The difficult part in this is, how do I stop? Because I need one hand. <laughs> Somebody come and help me please to pick up the drops. <laughs> oh, oh, well, okay. That's the way it is. The espresso here is very beautiful with the purple. Beautiful. So that's something to remember. Oh, a drip, but that's okay. Look at the cup, very beautiful, right? Now my torch. It's really looking good. Can you see it? The cells are forming. Big one over here, but that's okay. I think I have to get rid of that because it is reasonably on the side. When I am going to tilt, maybe I can uh, hold on to the half of it, but I don't think so. Really big cells over here. Nice contrast of the purple and the espresso and also the blue. Very nice. I will just leave it for a moment. And hopefully I can give it a little bit of time for... Maybe this is from the base paint, from the purple base paint. I see little cells coming through the crimson red hue. I'm going to tilt a little bit. Oh, this is quite heavy. A little bit round. It is reasonably thin. The paint. Let's hope. The red is also beautiful. I'm not a kind of red girl, but in combination with purple, orange, it is beautiful color and black, that combination. Just stretch it out. Not over the edge yet. No, no, not yet. Down and to the left under. Oh, there's a lot of paint here, so that is good. That's fine. Uh, my cup over here. All right, now give it a moment to develop. Maybe there's something under it that comes uh, to the surface, I'm not sure. Torch it again, you see a lot of bubbles. Beautiful cells. I have 
everywhere. In every color there are cells. Look at that, it's beautiful. The combination of the espresso and the crimson hue is also a nice combination. And um, I'm a little bit concerned about the, the large amount of blue in this area, but we will see what happens. So I think I better get started. Let's go. Uh, let me see. Uh, what do I want to get rid of first? I think I am... I think I'm going to do first this white layer of paint. Oh, it's almost slipping out of my fingers. Back again. And to this side. I hope you can see it. I think you do. Oh, oh that's a big cells. A lot of cappuccino in the middle. I said is a lot of thin paint and everything is stretching out enormously I have a lot of paint here so I have to now the last part Well, the amount of paint on my table is rather a lot. I'm not going to straight scrape it this time, that time. I'm not going to. I think overall, it's a nice composition. And I think you can see it also. I see some purple pearls coming up, cells if you like, and that was my goal, so I think I got it right. I think I have to give it more time, torch it again, but I love it. I don't want to have any more paint off the canvas. Maybe. Now I see some cells coming up here too. Also here, here are a lot. I like it. No, don't touch it anymore. If I touch it now, I will make the cells wonky, I think. Put my finger under it, so the paint that is on the canvas will not be tempted to go off the canvas because I put a lot of paint on and gravity will pull it down if I leave too much drips on the side, under the side, on the side. Um, uh, I think you can see that there are a lot of cells popping up and that was my goal and I'm so glad I did so. It's beautiful. Here's some. All new cells. I hope you enjoy this video. This is what you can uh, yeah, do with your leftover paint if you like to. And uh, yeah, I like purple so the amount of purple and blue I like also. And espresso is giving me the shine that I like. And uh, the purple have also a shine. I don't see the pearl, the, the pearl uh, lessened color, but maybe this is the pearl lessened color of the Amsterdam Standard Series. This is a lot of um, espresso, but maybe uh, there will be a lot of more cells in here. I'm not sure. Maybe if I use the torch, that it will. I just give it uh, a lot of time. It's 
Tomorrow I will. Um, oh, why I oh. Tomorrow I will um, make a painting that um, I show you a painting. I mean, from a long time ago. Um, I made it and uh, I'm happy with it, but I want to do some more with it. I don't do it today because I have to move this one and um, I don't want to. I have to make room on my table for that one because that, the other one is a, a rather large canvas. And I need the space to do so. Just this one I let dry for the night and the day. Look at they are coming! Yoohoo! Oh, beautiful cells! Look at that! I'm happy with it. I hope uh, you like it too. Um, I wish you an amazing day. Have fun. Enjoy your day. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.